Hello my lovelies, so today I'm going to be showing you how I got this look, which is just my everyday makeup look. I've gotten a lot of requests to do this, so let's just get started. So first, I'm just going to go in with this lip mask. I always start like this because I hate my lips being dry, and it also keeps foundation from sticking to them. Here's me putting my big ass forehead on display. I can never put my hair up correctly the first time, but we're just gonna roll with it. Now going in with the Rose Water Face Dew from Rosen. This keeps my skin dewy so that nothing looks caked on. I've already applied mine for the day, but here's the sunscreen I use. Going into concealer, I only apply in these places that I'm gonna show you guys. Now I'm just going to blend that in with a beauty blender. Sometimes I use a brush, but I felt like using a beauty blender today, so that's what I'm using. I think this one is from Morphe, but I'm not entirely sure. Moving on to foundation, this is the Charlotte Tilbury foundation. This foundation really works for me. It never looks caked on, and it covers everything that I want it to cover. It doesn't dry out my skin, and I like a more dewy finish. Even though this is a matte foundation, I think it works really well for what I want. Now I'm going in with a CC cream that's darker than my skin tone to bronze. I love the way that this looks when I do it. I think it looks really natural. I go in with a beauty blender first and then with a brush because I feel like that gives me a more controlled finish. Now I'll take whatever's left on the brush and just kind of give my face more warmth where I think it needs it. Do not forget to go down the neck. This is my Holy Grail blush. Um, I absolutely love this product. I bought it while I was in New York. Just put it on the very highest points of your cheekbones to give a lifted look. Blush placement matters so much. I stole this from my old high school, but we're just going to put it in these areas to give more of a lifted look as well. Now I couldn't find this Morphe palette for the life of me. I'm really sorry, but I only use this color from it, so any like lighter brown color you have will work. So I'm just concentrating it like pretty much all around my crease, just to give like that first layer of color for what we're going to do next. Now going in with the Shaclin Hill palette that was gifted to me with the color Silk Cream. We're just going to put that in the outer V to darken up the outside of our eyes. I definitely don't claim to be the best at eyeshadow. This is pretty much the only look I know how to do well, well-ish, I guess, so don't take me as an expert, please. Going back in with that first brown we used to just diffuse the edges. Go in with any brown liquid liner. Um, this one's for Maybelline, but I don't really like it that much, so I'm not going to link it. Usually I'll use like the Stilla waterproof liner, um, but she's kind of expensive, so I've just been going drugstore liners for the past few months. Now take the darkest brown you have, we're just going to kind of start smoking out that wing just a little bit. I definitely needed it here because the liner I have is not very opaque to begin with. Any highlighter will do, but I'm just going in with this one from the Jaclyn Hill palette to go underneath the brow and in the inner corner of my eyes. I decided my eyes needed a little bit more, so I'm going in again with that dark brown and connecting my wing to my lower lash line. 
just for some added effect. Now I'm taking some magnetic lashes. I don't remember where these are from, but I've used them maybe 20 times since I bought them. I wish I could tell you which ones they were, but I just cannot remember. Now I'm going to take some mascara and marry everything together so nothing's sticking out of place. I don't like swipe up when I'm wearing magnetic lashes because they display so easily. Now going in with this bronzer, if you couldn't tell, I use samples of pretty much everything. So most of the products I have, I didn't even buy. Going in with blush again, um, at this point I'm basically just adding color wherever I think I need a little bit more. Just taking some eyeliner to make my beauty mark pop. This is my favorite highlighter. It just gives the most natural finish and it just looks like this natural sheen on your face and not like a big white stripe. Time for the lips. This is the lip look I do every single day of my life. I wish I could venture out and try different colors, but anytime I do, I just hate it. So I always go with pink. And that completes this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know so many of you wanted this video and I'm happy to finally film it for you. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe so you can catch my next videos.